Hello everybody, it's Richard Cespedes, and uh, I'm here to just upload a video about, uh, um, I want to talk about two things. My theories in uh, what we can do when we harness and master telekinesis and chi energy, which is both the same thing. And how to awaken your uh, pineal gland, I guess that's how it's pronounced, and uh, uh, your third eye, which is both the same thing. And so um, I want to start off with uh, how to awaken your pineal gland and your third eye now the thing is is that you look on YouTube look on on websites you look on uh, internet and they say it's uh, calcified and that it's uh, uh, in sleep mode or something like that well the thing is is that the pineal gland is connected to your brain so uh, all the energy and blood flow is affecting the pineal gland all the neurological um, um, charges that are going on in the brain are going through and connecting and affecting the pineal gland and the blood flow is connected to the pineal gland since it's inside the center of your brain it's connected to the brain so the pineal gland is active already as it were so if the pineal gland is active then that means that third eye is, is already awakened the pineal gland is already uh, awakened now the thing is though is that how to awaken how to um how to uh, focus your brain more on the effectiveness of harnessing um, what they call the third eye you know um, how to see things and how to feel things and how to um, you just have to put focus on the pineal gland it's already awakened the thing is though is that in certain situations in our lives the third eye and the pineal gland go up and down like fluctuation uh, it's, uh, at certain times and situations in our lives sometimes it's, it's awakened and we feel it but we're, we're not aware of it and sometimes it closes up and it wakens and it closes up but it's connected to the brain it's already um, active it's already aware it's already there because it's it's being affected by you know the internal workings of the blood flow the blood is circling within the pineal gland and the internal um, circuitry of the, of the brain itself the neurological functions is already affecting the brain uh, affecting the pineal gland because it's connected to it so the, th the thing is though is that how to um, how to put more focus on it so that you can um, go into meditation more easily now the only thing you have to do since it's already awakened you just have to learn to feel it and focus now I've, I've thought about this is that um, uh, we, we already experience what they call on um, the third eye visions you know seeing things hearing things feeling things being sensitive of things we already and we already feel those things every day of our lives but we don't we're not aware of it because uh, no one has described the symptoms and what they are so um, now the only way to uh, to put focus on the pineal gland and to and to put focus on on the symptoms and uh, what is occurring is to um, all you need to do is just go into a state of your own insanity go into a state of your own inner thoughts Go into the, because the, the 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 third eye. They say that the third eye, you see a you see um visions, you see uh, manifestations and and things that may not be there, and you hear things and you feel things. That's very similar to an, a person that's in a in a, in a mental institution. When you see people in mental institute or in movies or uh, 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 TV shows or whatever, you always see them walking around in, in a disillusioned manner. It's because they're lost in their own um pineal gland activation their own uh, third eye activation they're lost in their own world of the third eye it, they, they've already have activated but they but they're lost in it so much that they just don't know how to dis differentiate how to be in the normal waking life of functioning with society and to turn off and to kind of uh, put away the thoughts and visions of the third eye you know we already uh, it, it, it's already occurring within us it's already there it's already there the only thing you have to do is just to go into your own insanity. How do you do that? You have to um, <clears throat> you have to allow yourself to let yourself be in a state of uh, of uh, of um, letting yourself be letting uh, fear enter enter you, letting fear and worry enter you. Even if there's nothing physically causing you to be fear to be to be fearing, letting yourself have the sensation and feeling of fear 
of something is happening, something's going on. Even if there's no real thoughts to activate or to provoke it, or any physical things to provoke it, you have to just push yourself to just fear. Put yourself in, in a physical situation of feeling fear. And put yourself in a physical situation of feeling worry, worryful. Put yourself in a physical situation of being sad. Even if there's nothing to provoke it, just feel it. Just feel the sadness, feel the distress. And when you start to do that, those are the feelings at the third eye. That's that's what the third eye does. It's letting you uh, focus in, and and it, it's 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 letting yourself just go and in, jump into the flow of the river of the what the third eye is tr is and what you're what you're ignoring, and waking life. What you're ignoring because you're working and you're too busy thinking about work and money and being with your friends and things like that, or school or whatever. You have to just let yourself kind of go through the forest internally and find that flowing river of the of the third eye and pineal gland world. And you have to, the way you do that, you have to let yourself succumb to the sense of your own insanity. In, insanity is basically just um, an insane person that sees things is basically caught up in the sensations of what the third eye is giving them. Thoughts, angry thoughts, feelings. Um, sometimes it's uh, uh, sometimes they do cause harm to others, and they cause harm to themselves, which is not right. But there's something more complex. They're they're adding too much to it, you know. But you can just harness it and let it waken you. And you have to um, you have to let yourself. You have to put yourself in a state of slight disillusionment. Stare into space. Look into objects. Let yourself see things let yourself feel and see things that are not there let your mind journey into um journey into a world of of imaginativeness let yourself see imagine things that are not there be fearful of them you know because well the thing is though is that what you're doing is you're just l pushing yourself into a situation where you can recognize what the third eye realm is you know it's not correct for you to be always fearful but what you're doing is that you're letting yourself know if your environment or if your own situation in your life or uh, or or something if there's something bad or good you know let yourself feel happiness if, there, if there's great happiness you let yourself just flow into it then that means there's happiness in life if you let yourself feel fear then it means that there's something causing fear that you didn't notice before you're letting yourself sense things that are there that you ignore or that you just do not have the comprehension to feel and to recognize uh, uh, calculatingly. You know, you let yourself fear, you let yourself see what's wrong. You see, let yourself see clearly in your life and within yourself. But anyways, you let yourself, let yourself, because in the third eye realm, they say in the pineal gland, the third eye realm, you see things, apparitions, things like that. Let yourself imagine seeing things. Let yourself imagine seeing apparitions. Kind of direct your mind into how you would uh, react to those things. Let yourself feel, be in a quiet situation. Put yourself in a situation where you're beckoning these visions to, to become, to uh, manifest in front of you. Beckon it. Because the pineal gland and third eye already awakened. You just have to learn to go through the forest of your own self and find that river of the third eye that's already within you. Once you let that happen, then you're in the realm of the third eye. You're in the realm of the pineal gland. Once you let yourself kind of go in and out, once in a while, every other day, you let yourself sit alone after work, sit there, let yourself hear things. Don't, don't always force it, but let yourself hear work voices let yourself hear voices that are not there let yourself see things in visions thoughts let yourself go into a tunnel of focus of, of images and movies in your mind let yourself be captured and taken into the rapture of the of the realm of your own third eye let yourself see things clearly because the thing is though that the third eye and and the pineal gland are already active why? Because they're already connected to the body. The pineal gland is the heart of it. The pineal gland is connected to the brain. It's already receiving blood. 
The blood is flowing right through it in and out. The neurological system of the brain is already sending signals as you do things, perform, perform things, everyday life. The neuro ne neurological signals of the brain is already connected to the pineal gland, sending through and out and back and forth through the pineal gland. It's already active. It's not shut down. It's there. We're just not aware of it. We just need to, uh, we, 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 we need to let ourselves uh, succumb to it. And how you do that is how I explain. Let yourself go into your own realm. Let yourself hear and see things that are not there. Because when you let yourself hear and see things, you're seeing, you're letting your mind see the reality of what problems there really is in your life. Images, past, present, and future. Your friend has a tumor you never knew. You know, uh, your, 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 your mother might pass away in a few years. You never thought that. Those are fears. But you're letting yourself see things like how... Um, how uh, how a psychic is able to do that. You can be a psychic too. And also that will also help with telekinesis. Let yourself go. And then let your third eye control the object. You know, observe the object, be connected, be one with the object. Relax, clear your mind, and you'll learn to do telekinesis more easily. By learning the techniques of what Trevor Seven describes. I recommend going to him and subscribing to him. Whatever Trevor Seven says, use a technique as a foundation. Then go into another technique as I described to harness your third eye and your and your pineal gland. Go into that realm. Let yourself go into your own world. You can do it just as easy. That is how you wake up your pineal gland, and that is how you go into your own realm of of your uh, third eye. It's already there. You just need to walk into yourself. You know, as I've said, sit alone at the work by yourself. Let yourself journey and think things that are not there. Let yourself hear things that are not there. Let yourself see things, apparitions. Let your mind play play with you and play and back and forth with yourself. Let you put yourself in a fearful situation, fear, sadness, you know, worry. Combine all those things. And then later on you'll so you'll soon to realize that it'll come easier. And you'll be able to predict things and you'll be able to see things and feel things. And you'll see that those things are fact. That is how um, uh, that it work. That that is how you activate your pineal gland. The easiest ever that anyone will ever describe to you, anywhere, ever, and, and YouTube or anywhere. The pineal gland is easier than you think to activate. You don't have to go through this hard trouble of doing it. Of uh, what YouTube says, all these mantras and all this calcifying. It's not really dead. It's awake. As Rick says, "Peter, thank you for watching. God bless." Sorry, I couldn't describe it. I'll put another video about how to. Do what I think about telekinesis, what we can really do with it. Portals. We can create portals. All right. I'll see you later.